over here. Two fractions to compare. Four fifths and two thirds. This time they have different kinds of pieces. And they don't have the same amount of pieces either. So we can use number lines here to check which fraction will be more. And I'm going to divide this number line into five parts. I'm going to use my ruler to measure it first. Let's see. Okay, it is 35 centimeters long. 35 into five parts. 35 divided by five. That would be seven. So, that's seven. And 14 and 21 and 28. There. Now it's divided into five parts. And this one into three parts. Okay. So I'll do that. There. Now we will mark those fractions. Four fifths over here. Two thirds over here. Can you see which one is more? Which one is the greater fraction? This one is because it is further from zero. We can do the same here. This time the number lines are already divided into the right amount of parts. Three tenths and one fourth. Matthew, you come and mark the fractions, okay? One fourth, yep. That's one fourth. Yeah, that's three tenths. Okay, we can see three tenths is the greater fraction. Let's put our skills to a little test. Can you compare these three pairs of fractions? There are no pictures this time. Four fifths and two fifths. Okay, here we have same kinds of parts, fifths and fifths. So four pieces is more than two pieces. One seventh and one tenth. There are different kinds of pieces, but there's just one piece. One seventh, one tenth. You remember if you divide your pie into ten pieces or seven pieces, these are smaller pieces. And then one half and nine tenths. Imagine nine tenths. Isn't that almost the whole thing? Whereas one half is just one half. So that's how it goes. Lastly, we have a little bit of a challenge because we need to write in order five different fractions. Some of them would be easy, like these three, you could tell them in order. But these two, I don't know. We can use number lines again, okay? This first one is divided into thirds, right? And we have one third here, would be here. What else would we need? One divided into fourths, fifths and eighths. Let's use the ruler again. And divide the next number line into four parts. Okay, I have 40 centimeters here. Like that. And then the next number line into five parts. So 40 divided by five is eight. Okay, and then the last one into eight parts. All right, all done. Now we can mark the... Oh, Matty, come, you come. Okay, come mark the fractions. Two-fifths, where is that? On which number line? And one-fourth. And one-third, oh, we marked that. One-fifth. And three-eighths. There. So now... Which one is the smallest fraction? We come from here, go towards there. Which dot do we hit first? It's this one here. So that's one-fifth, right? And let's continue. This dot is next. One-fourth. And then... We have these two real close together. I think it is one-third though. And then comes the three-eighths. And lastly, this one. Two-fifths. Okay, all done with this lesson.